Feed and Forages, a short overview. Next slide, please. What has changed in perception and reality of feed resourcing and feeding in livestock and fish production in the last couple of years? There was an increasing realization that the livestock and fish production will not materialize without significant improvement of feed resources and feeding strategies. But that this is getting harder because competition for biomass increases while the required natural resource basis for feed production decreases at the same time. Further, feed resourcing and feeding has decisive effects on the economy and quality of animal source food production and the environmental footprint of animal source food production. However, it was also realized that engagement in feed and forage value chain offers multiple livelihood options for smallholder and landless, particularly when they were involved in a participatory way in the design and development of these value chains. Key responses considered included matching feed biomass and demand for animal source food under different scenarios for both variables, biomass demand and animal source food, and mobilize new biological and social sciences to improve feed resources and feeding strategies. <coughs> Changes the flagship contributed to. Technology platform now exists that design and generate tools to, to define key constraints and suggest ways and entry points to tackle them by consortiums of diverse partners and partnerships. Options now exist to optimize use of biomass for different purposes and to produce higher biomass, not only with reduced environmental footprint, but in cases with positive effects on environments. Next slide, please. What did we achieve? Research output fall into three different categories. Tools, approaches to make better use of existing feed resources on farm and off farm, and options to improve feed and forage biomass quantity with reduced environmental footprint. Those research outputs affected the formulation and implementation of several system and crop commodity CRPs. And a paradigm shift in crop improvement is happening in that crop aspects pertaining to livestock and fish production are getting due attention. In addition, the crucial interrelationships between feed resourcing, feeding strategies, natural resource use and environmental footprint is realized to a greater extent as are ways to improve these relationships. On the ground in development projects, we see a much more structured, targeted and interactive approach to feed interventions. We have also seen superior food feed and forage cultivars adopted and upgraded further through feed processing and supplementation options. Proof of concept projects around feed and forage value chain show that a more sustainable and environmentally friendly livestock and fish production is certainly feasible. Next slide. Thanks a lot.